I need to explain every single step of my working here. First of all, just to get our heads around the question, uh, triangle ABC is equilateral, which means that all three sides are the same length, and it means that all three angles are the same. We also have the fact that triangle BCD, that's this one over here, is isosceles, which, and these two sides are the ones which are the same length, which means that these, the two angles which are the same length, are this one, which same size rather, are that one and that one. So let's just remember that. Okay, we are asked to find this angle, so this one here, in terms of x, giving our answer as simply as possible. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, first of all, I know that I've got an equilateral triangle. I'm going to start by finding this angle here. Now, in order to find this angle here, I know that angle ABC in that triangle, and in fact, that's the same as angle ACB. They're all exactly the same, so angle ACB, and that's going to be 60 degrees. And the reason for that is that we have an equilateral triangle. And in, e in an equilateral triangle, all the angles are the same, so they're all 60 degrees. Now, if I know that, that angle, this angle here is 60 degrees, then I know that this one here, this little one here, is which I'm going to call angle DBC, that must be 60 minus x. Okay, if all of this is 60, okay, then this little part here must be 60 minus x. And that means that also angle CDB to angle CDB is going to be the same because we have an isosceles triangle. So let's just write that. So in brackets, write down y. So just putting them on the diagram, this little angle here is 60 minus x, and this one up here is also 60 minus x. And I've also stated here that angle ACB, so that's this one here, is 60. OK, I'm going to call the angle that I want to find y. And I'm now going to look at this triangle here, so my isosceles triangle. I know that the angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I just look at this triangle here, I know that the three angles in this triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Let's move up here. So if I just add together, so if I call this one y, then this whole angle here is y plus 60. So y plus 60 plus this angle here, which is 60 minus x plus this angle here, which is also going to be 60 minus x, those three angles must add up to 180 degrees. Now, if I simplify the left-hand side, I've got y plus 180 minus 2x is equal to 180. And I can see now that if I subtract 180 from the left side and I subtract 180 from the right side, on the left side, I'm going to be left with y minus 2x. And on the right-hand side, I'm left with 0. And if I now add 2x to both sides, I've got y is equal to 2x. And in fact, that means I've finished because y is the angle that I've been trying to find, which is angle ACD. So angle ACD, okay, in terms of x, is actually 2xx. 